So now that we've woven through the loops, we're just going to pull it tight and focus on the inside not coming out through the center. That's the only thing I'm doing here. And then as you're pulling it, it's going to create bumps. You want those bumps. To me, it reminds me of like the bottom of a soda bottle. But here I have five and those are actually going to indicate the grooves of my pumpkin. From here, I'm just going to secure my tail by weaving it through a piece of yarn on the opposite side of where it, my tail ends. And then I'm just going to make a knot with it, pull it tight, and feed it through the center of the hole. Now the hole is going to appear a little big. That's fine. You actually need it a little bit bigger for when we do the finishing pieces. So that's totally fine. You also don't have to worry about weaving in your ends. Just feed it through the hole and then cut it off so it's not as long. Or you can leave it long. Totally up to you. But it's not going to unravel. Especially once we add the stuffing, it'll be perfectly fine. <laughs> 